Hello, good evening. My name is Tiara Charday. I am a spiritual mentor, certified master life coach, minister, priestess, as well as CEO and founder of the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program and the Pussy Portal Program. And I have a prophetic word for you, okay? Okay. And before we hop in, you know, I have been asked, okay, so you're a minister, you're a priestess, and you be talking about pussy. <laughs> Mm, I need some help, right? Okay, so my particular path is a little unorthodox, is also a lot of extraordinary, and I am here on assignment. And one of, one of those assignments is to liberate the wombs on this planet, liberate you from sexual shame, trauma, liberate you from unresolved generational curses and free you so that you can embody all that you are so that you can walk in alignment with your purpose and that also requires me to show up and be authentically me wherever I am right now on my journey and yes I'm a weed smoking twerking pussy popping <laughs> swearing minister, messenger, oracle, prophetess of the most high creator, mother, father, God. Absolutely. So I talk about the pussy portal. I talk about, you know, things that relate to us here in the 3D realm. And I do that by channeling messages from the ethers and the cosmos. So let's get into this message. Okay. I have a prophetic word for y'all and I did write something down just so I could stay focused on this message because it's really, 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 really powerful, okay? The divine is about to even the playing field, okay? For many of you, honey, this playing field has been evened out. You've just now realized it or in the past few weeks, you've realized, okay, like, wow, something is really different and... and and I, I can move forward on this journey or, you know, the energy feels completely different than it did before. And what do I mean by the divine is about to even the playing field? I mean, you've been through some things. Like, I feel for whoever is tapping into this message, you've dealt with sex, um, yeah, sexual trauma, psychic attacks. You've had to deal with domestic violence mental illness right because of your environment and just the things that people were saying to you you were caught up in these like psychological knots because of everything that was just coming at you at one time for some of you people were doing spell work against you and this relates to, to you know i have many people on here who are um who do watch me who also are religious and you study the bible they absolutely use spiritual and psychic attacks against Jesus and a lot of the other prophets of the Most High, a lot of the oracles. So this is not something new and you're not crazy, right? You're not crazy if you're experiencing things like that. Um, so I, want, I just want to say that, right? But the divine is going to even the playing field where the things, the people, the places, the experiences that have kept you suppressed, repressed, um, up until this point, they're gonna be cleared out. And I don't know what that means for, for some, right? Because the divine could be, you know what I'm saying? The divine could really be justified in things. Divine anger is a real thing. Divine justice is real. And I always talk about the beauty of mother nature. She's gorgeous, she's pretty. You know, her flowers bloom, but then when that tornado come through, you might be looking at Mother Nature a little differently, right? So that's the situation here. The divine is going to even the playing field for you so that you could step into your purpose. And your purpose for many of you, especially, you know, if you're called to this message, is to lead, is to set an example for others, is to, you know, be the lighthouse in your home, in your community, in your school, in your country, in the world. Some of you are going to be international with your messages, whether you have a podcast, whether somebody from Russia is watching you through Instagram Live. I don't know where you be at, but you're going to be well-known and you're going to be able to lead an example, right? So that ties into the other part of this message where it's, 
be mindful of how you're showing up in the world, right? Like me, I started off this message. I told you what it is with me. You already know I'm a minister. I'm a priestess. And I talk about playing with your pussy for healing and expansion to liberate yourself, right? To liberate yourself from trauma, shame, abuse, neglect, um, dis-ease within your body. So, um, that's what, that's my role. And I meant to align with those who align with that message. And it's the same for you. So be mindful, understand who you are and what you're here to do. And when you understand those things, then you already know your audience, right? You already know who you're speaking to. So be your authentic self and lead by example. Um, if there's things that are outside of you, the divine wants you to not choose those, right? So last night we did a video and we talked about the options that you have, the opportunities that you have. The divine wants you to choose the things that really speak to your heart right now. Don't just choose things off of past traumas or trauma bonding or because your friends or your family thinks that you should be doing something so now you're going to do it don't choose those things choose the things that really speak to your heart that speak to your soul at this time because you are leading by example people are you know people are going to come to you children is a big deal right i wrote down children children are going to be coming to you soon as well and it's because they're the future they you know they're going to be carrying the torch after us we're we're needing to set a fine example for them but you know that's the general message but there's someone out there that this is a specific message for you you're meant to work with children you're meant to work with the youth you're meant to teach you know if it's not working directly with the youth you are meant to teach you are meant to educate and share, share your story share your you know your expertise your wisdom with others that message is definitely here you are the lighthouse yeah like you're the sounding board you are the oracle you're the scribe and it's time for you to show up and it all it's also time for you to rule and time for you to lead and because of that things that were bothering you before in the past are literally gonna be wiped away like it's gonna be insane for some of you who are choosing to let go of attachments it's gonna be like well you expected it anyway for those of you who may be holding on to certain attachments when the divine takes them away it might be kind of a shock so <laughs> this is a heads up for some of you um for others of you the divine is going to even the playing field take away um the restrictions and in doing that right for some of you it's taking away the illusions as well right and in doing that you're going to be able to see your opportunities bigger and better opportunities that are aligned with your higher self um you're going to see the bigger and better options you're going to want to take the higher paths the higher route and see that's what i'm meaning like the higher paths you're meant for an elevated path higher than where you are right now okay and i don't want you to freak out i want you to understand that you're built that tough you're literally here in this time and space to bring forth this message to bring forth your purpose okay so i hope that resonated with you that is the prophetic word listen up we have a black friday sale on our readings and our rituals um as well as birth charts soul's purpose life purpose you know, um, making sure that your purpose is protected as well. Because like I said, you got people, places, things, you have beings, you have entities that want to make sure that you do not liberate yourself and therefore liberate the souls who are going to be called to you, right? So a big part of my mission in this time and space is to protect the children of the Most High so that you can fulfill your mission in this time and space and the one of the ways just one of the ways i do that is with um studying your astrological makeup giving you the tools and the blueprint that you need in order to elevate and to succeed it's literally 
what I had to do to get out of the dark places that I was in. And many of you, I, I have hundreds of videos on this channel. Make sure you go back and take a look at that if you need to know about my story because it's heavily documented, y'all. So, you know, the receipts are here that this work is really phenomenal. It's amazing and it will benefit you. So if you would like to know your soul's purpose, if you would like your, um, your energy to be cleared, if you want to know the next steps that you're needing to take in order to get love, career, travel, the life that you're wanting, make sure you book a reading ritual with me. Make sure you send me an email or a DM if you would like me to do a life's purpose report. And when I do that, I pray over you. I do protection over you so that you are fully, 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 fully protected as you walk in alignment with your path. Okay. So I love you. I hope that you have an amazing, an amazing day. All right. Talk soon. Peace and love. Mwah.